Clayton back. Get him up. Oh, 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 oh brother, what a piss! Hi, welcome back to another video caught looking with Mike Armstrong. Today I'm doing a video response for Jake the Ticket Leprechaun. Going to give you guys uh, a tour of my card room. It's really a man cave. Uh, it's where I spend a lot of my time. It's where I do my videos. Um, yeah, this is where I just do a lot of hanging out. A lot of this stuff in here means a lot to me. So I'm going to give you a tour. Give you a once over first in the basement of my of my house. To uh. Do a quick walk through here. So Donnie Baseball. Yeah, the Hitman. I was a huge Mattingly fan, big Yankee fan growing up um, in the 80s and 90s. I'm um, still a big Yankee fan, but Mattingly was my guy, as he was most Yankee fans who grew up back during that time. That uh, original 1950s Yankees pennant on the wall. Uh, it's one of the cooler pieces of my collection here. This is a uh, Johnny Ben Shingard, autographed at Hall of Fame 89, Rookie of the Year, 68, MVP, 70 and 72, 14-time All-Star, 10-time Gold Love winner. <laughs> These two streaks jerseys here, seven and 15. These are uh, teammates of mine in high school who have since passed away. Number seven passed away while I was in high school, winner of our senior year. Uh, number 15 was my best friend and my catcher. I was a pitcher in high school and college. Uh, that's his catcher's mitt from our senior year. Um, I took that over after he passed away. These cleats and hats, these are hats from my senior year of high school with number seven embroidered on the side. And this is my buddy's cleats, left-handed pitcher. So you see the right, right toe worn out. So those items um, that I just covered there, those are all the value in my basement. Um, those are my most prized possessions. Um, and back over here, I have a uh, Yankee Stadium seat. Old Yankee Stadium from the latest revision. Um, it's actually pretty comfortable to sit in. Sometimes I sit now while I watch Yankee games. And an old 1940s baseball glove. 1940s catcher's glove. A warrior, Paul O'Neill. I got some commemorative Yankees balls here. Bay plate. The dirt from Yankee Stadium, piece of the old Yankee Stadium wall. Got a Woody Ford Yogi Bear autograph ball in there and a ball uh, that was caught when I was about four or five years old at Yankee Stadium by Ken Singleton of the Orioles. Joe D. Plate, Donnie Baseball, Signed Helmet, it's my high school football helmet, uh, it's pretty nicked up, that's why I'm about half brain dead to this day, I love football, uh, and if you know me and played against me, you know I was coming for you. My display case. Got to represent a little DJ. Love them. Wood burning fireplace. That's what we burn in this house. It's firewood. No, just kidding. Uh, these bats are broken for my son and his buddies. Um, they play in some wooden um, tor wooden bat tournaments over the summer. I'm sure this one will be added in the not too distant future. Yogi Berra, signed photo, love that photo. B 
babe. Little Bo Jackson. Like I said, growing up in the 80s and 90s, Bo knows. Jeter sign ball shadow box that was put together for me as a gift a couple years ago. Love it. Uh, Pete Rose signed Sports Illustrated cover and large Sports Illustrated cover. Um, big Pete Rose fan. I mean, yeah, he did bet on baseball and that sucks, but um, can we really deny anyone played the game harder than Charlie Hustle? I mean, his nickname is Charlie Hustle. Pete Rose signed that. 4256. 1963 Cincinnati Reds jersey signed by Pete Rose hit king exit Sam man the man us Yankee fans miss him dearly Chapman is struggling right now um, we were blessed to have this guy for the better part of 18 years signed by Mariano Grew up in Jersey, so I'm a big boss fan. Yep, there he is right there. LT changed the game. I'm a huge Giant fan. I do not collect football cards, uh, but I am a, a huge Giant fan. LT and Mark Bavaro were my guys growing up. Um, let's get some stuff in there. Grandfather's flag. He was a veteran in World War II. It's my college baseball glove. A little bourbon. There's the old stone face Mark Bavaro. Original 1940 magazine, sport magazine at Joe D. And Life magazine. Mickey Mantle on the cover. Yeah, and that's uh, that's essentially it. This is where I chill out and watch games and look at cards and watch your videos. Uh, I love it down here. It's a place I come to escape uh, reality a little bit, so to speak. But anyway, wanted to put this video together uh, for Jake's channel. Great channel. Check it out. Uh, if you're not currently... Um, subscribing but um, Jake's uh, Jake never met never personally met Jake seems like a great young guy to be dad congratulations Jake best wishes to you and I hope you guys all have a good one